five, four, three, two, one, take it away. This is a solar hybrid electric vehicle. It has all sorts of neat things inside it. Let's take it away. Five, four, three, two. The 21st Century Automotive Challenge came out of the Tour de Sol. The Tour de Sol, the American Tour de Sol, for about 18 years was an event about a week long that had various competitors involved in alternative fuel transportation competition from solar assisted bicycles to mopeds to electric cars, solar cars, and as time evolved uh, the hybrid came on board. Many people competed in the Tour de Sol. We traveled from cities of uh, say Boston to New York, uh, from New York to Albany to Lake George, up in Vermont, down in Baltimore, Washington. We traveled everywhere and uh, the public was invited at each stayover to look at our cars, to uh, investigate the technology that we were trying to push in our competitive efforts. They ran out of funding from the Department of Energy, Honda and Toyota, major sponsors, and they began to lose the ability to promote the event, and so they decided to call it a day. The Eastern Electric Vehicle Club decided, hey, we don't want this to stop. We got too many people, especially high school teams, college teams. Uh, the kids wanted the experience of coming together and competing with electric cars, hybrid cars, and, and keep the spirit of what we call the spirit of the tour alive. So we were given permission by uh, the Northeast Sustainable Energy Association, NESI for short, that they gave us the permission to run this event under our name, the 21st Century Automotive Challenge, uh, and call it the Spirit of the Tour de Sol. We took it on in Burlington County, New Jersey. Paul Kidd and I, Dr. Paul Kidd and I, we, we directed it for two seasons. Uh, in the competition, we had a battery power division, we had a uh, diesel, biodiesel division, and we had uh, a hybrid division and we uh, would compete similar to what they did in the Tour de Sol with uh, a range test, with driving around town, competition there, an autocross event, and we also uh, measured efficiency of the, of the vehicles and try to translate that into miles uh, per gallon of gasoline to try to make the public aware of how we could maybe go a better route in terms of saving energy and uh, saving on our fossil fuel usage. Uh, the event is hard to, to carry on, to sustain it, and Paul and I realized we didn't really feel that we had the resources to keep this thing going. Joel Angstrom, Dr. Joel Angstrom from Penn State, formerly had been a student uh, who we'd met in the Tour de Sol, 98, 99, 2000, competing with a Penn State hybrid. Uh, and uh, he loved the Tour, but eventually what happened in his graduate studies here at Penn where he competed in the Tour, he emerged as a doctor and he became uh, the head of a department. He said, yeah, he thought that they would like to keep the spirit of the tour alive and that he would become a host and maybe take over the event, transform it a little bit, modify it, tweak it to meet 21st century automotive conditions and, and keep the event alive. And that's what we're here for. And this is the second year at Penn State. Uh, in the electric uh, car division, we get together, we go through tech testing, test to make sure the cars pass the, the requirements for a safe vehicle on the highway. We give them dynamic testing, make sure they can brake, go down the road, move left and right, accelerate and perform safely. If they pass that, then they're eligible to go around town. And around town, we uh, simulate the, what the average car would do going around town shopping. Uh, we have a, a measurement of how much cargo the car can actually carry by putting boxes in, measuring that. We uh, stop at various places on the Penn State campus. Uh, and, and this is a time when you can charge and we try to imitate what it would be like if you had solar charging available and the credits you get for that for V to G experimentation and credits in the scoring for that. They had the public in while we were on display charging our vehicles and the public could come in and look at the cars, talk to the drivers. A lot of technology was passed from us to interested spectators. In some cases, some of the spectators coming through know a lot about technology and they pass information on to us as well. But we believe in letting the public take a look at these vehicles as well as each other. And that's why we have the display. And then we uh, come back on the last day and have the range event on the Penn State track. We see how far these cars can go under ideal conditions in a very exciting range event. Uh, that covers the uh, 
the battery cars, the biodiesel cars, and hybrid cars, they actually go on longer distances. They're measured on their fuel economy and, and how well they uh, utilize fuel and, and beating the, the equation for lowering your carbon footprint, so to speak. Awards are given. Uh, we're here. Uh, it's a great place to learn technology. We learn what Penn State's doing in their research. We bring a lot of people together. We compare notes. We see each other's cars. Uh, some people like the data. I like to see kids get excited. Hey, our team beat out your team. And, and how do you win? You go out and you build a better mousetrap. And in building that better mousetrap, in this case, a better battery-powered car, you learn something. The kids learn technology. We don't want to be technically illiterate which I'm afraid we're slipping into. Not everybody wants to just sit back and play computer games and, and do computer stuff and shuffle paper around. We need people that can put their hands on a car and make it do something that formerly it didn't do. Keep the spirit of the tour alive. Uh, if anybody's out there and you feel like this is a worthy event, we can always use sponsors, funding, and enthusiastic uh, participation by just coming to our events. Pass the word on to your friends. We're here to uh, really meet the 21st century automotive challenge and that is to go from A to B using as little fuel as possible and carry as much cargo. Help us, sponsor us to make it better for you, me and the whole world.